Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I want to do is talk about a question that I got asked recently, which is really pertinent to the future of the real estate industry, and that is what's known as, what exactly is prop tech? Now, you may have read this particular term in an article, or maybe you saw a video that kind of highlighted it briefly, but in today's video, what I want to do is explain what prop tech is, and then, you know, my prediction or what I believe is going to happen in the, in the prop tech industry over the next decade or so. Uh, now, before we dive into this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now that you've done that, let's go ahead and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive right in this video. All right. So first off, we have to define what prop tech is. Well, prop tech, simply put, is technology that is tailored towards the real estate market or the real estate industry. Uh, we actually, I actually had an interview with uh, Michael Beckerman, who's the CEO of, Pro, uh, of CRE Tech, uh, which is the largest uh commercial real estate tech publication in the world. And we had a ta discussion about what prop tech is and how it, it, it's going to progress over the next, the coming decades. And once that, that, that interview is live, I'll go ahead and include it in the description below so you guys can see it. But essentially what it is, is, is it's technology that's tailored to the real estate market. And technology itself can be tailored towards the brokerage community, the landlord community, the construction community, or property management community that encompass the entire real estate market. So in today's video, I'm going to highlight some of the technology that's come about in all those different sectors and how it's trending towards the future, essentially. So on the brokerage side, uh, some of the most effective technology that's come out of the broke for the brokerage uh, community has been virtual reality. So companies like Matterport that's, that, that have enabled people to be able to go into properties virtually and tour them without actually having to bid on site. And this has been extremely instrumental, especially during this COVID-19 uh, situation that we find ourselves in, because now landlords or, or people who are interested in buying commercial property no longer have to go up physically on site and potentially expose themselves uh, to some sort of, of disease. Now they can just look through a property uh, through the comfort of their own home or in their own you know private office and not have to worry about you know the, the other the other consequences of being physically on site. Not only that, but data aggregation companies uh, like Reonomy and CoStar have made brokers extremely effective because now they have a lot more data to be able to reference when it comes to determining what the property value of a particular commercial piece of property is. Uh, from a lease rate perspective, they have a better understanding of what, what the going rate is for different uh, different uh, you know property types and how long they've sat on the market, et cetera. So now they can better advise their clients. On the landlord side, similar to the brokerage side, the data aggregation piece has been extremely impactful. Uh, you know, Reonomy and CoStar essentially allow landlords now to be able to, you know, get an understanding of what their property value is, what potential lease rates could be, and then maybe even predict growing trends within the market based on what they've seen over the last six months. But the real holy grail that 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 new companies are trying to target is predictive analytics, essentially taking data from historical data, utilizing artificial intelligence or some other forms of technology to predict what's going to happen in the next 12 months, 18 months, several years. Um, and this can help landlords make a significant amount of decisions based on what markets to go into, um, you know, what pricing to seek when you're going to these particular markets, whether to lease or buy, uh, given growing trends within the market. And then really, based on, uh, you know, investments, what, what areas are, 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 are experiencing sizable growth, you know, what, how can you predict growth over a period of time? So from an investment standpoint, it's extremely beneficial. Uh, and so those, those companies that are really trying to solve the piece of predictive analytics are going to see uh, a significant amount of investment and interest over the next decade or so. On the construction side, uh, companies are coming in uh, significantly uh, that are focusing on improved safety because obviously in the construction space, it's one of the more dangerous uh, of, of the industries. And so making sure that safety is, is paramount has is, is been extremely important. Communication and streamlining process to make sure that the, the projects finish on time and on budget. And if you think about it, if you're, if you're trying to execute a $100 million construction project, a 3 to 4% efficiency in improvement could mean 3 to $4 million in savings. So it is a significant amount of, of savings when it comes to those sort of things. So there's a lot of companies out there that are trying to target the construction industry to make sure that they can solve those problems for those, those companies. And then finally, on the property management end, uh, really, when, you, when it comes to managing large portfolios, there's a lot of data you have to input. And then there's a lot of actions that need to be taken in order to make sure that, that these properties are managed effectively. 
Uh, so really generating comprehensive reporting, in particular, if you're going to be managing properties for a third party or your third party managing for, you know, a client, uh, you tracking tenant demand, utilizing other softwares like the data aggregation tools we talked about earlier, and maybe even even incorporating some predictive analytics software that is going to be coming down the pike. And then understanding, you know, the maintenance requirements of different buildings and then being able to log those maintenance updates through in the system to make sure that you're able to provide up to date reporting to whether you're, you're managing properties for a landlord or maybe you're managing properties of your own portfolio. It just gives you a better understanding of what exactly is happening for, on a day to day basis within your portfolio. So those are some of the trends that are occurring. Uh, hopefully you gain some value from this video. Uh, and if, if you're looking and you're interested in, in prop tech in particular, I would highly encourage you to, to subscribe to CRE Tech. It is a phenomenal uh, website that provides daily uh, aggregation of stories pertaining to the, the, the tech industry as it pertains to commercial real estate. So you really do gain a ton of data from, from, that, from that publication. Along with that, if you're in the real in the market and you're looking to buy some commercial property here in the Louisville metro area or surrounding areas, feel free to give me a call. My number is 502-536-7315, or you can reach me via email at rafaelacrasantigroup.com. So thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you all next week.